this vote, the yeas are 53, the nays are 47, and this nomination is confirmed. History on Capitol Hill as Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson became Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson. She is the first black woman to be confirmed to the U.S. Supreme Court. The confirmation fulfills a promise that President Joe Biden made while on the campaign trail to nominate the first African-American woman to the high court. And tonight, the person who guided the process for the Biden White House is speaking exclusively with Eight on Your Side's Jack Royer. And Jack, you spoke to Senator Doug Jones, who was named the Senate Sherpa for her confirmation. Stacey Keith, that's right. Senator Jones has been a familiar face in these proceedings, working closely with Justice Jackson during the process. He says today's confirmation brings the court into a new era in which the makeup of the court, in his view, now reflects the makeup of the entire country. <laughs> Roaring applause on the floor of the U.S. Senate after days of testimony from now Justice Kentanji Brown Jackson. She will not make her mark just as a black female. She's going to make her mark as a justice of the United States Supreme Court. Former U.S. Senator Doug Jones of Alabama has been known through this process as the Senate Sherpa. After a career prosecuting civil rights cases, the lawyer turned advisor to the president says this moment is unique. And for the first time, you're going to have a black female sitting up there uh, as a justice. But you're also going to have this for the first time in history. The, um, the court is not going to be a majority of white males. Jackson was raised in South Florida, where her father worked as an attorney for the Miami-Dade County School Board. She followed her father into law and now reached its zenith, becoming the 116th justice on the nation's highest court. Judge Jackson saying she hopes to send a message. About the, the progress that we've made in this country. As she's already sending one in the state of Florida. You know, for me on a personal level, as someone who grew up in Florida, a little black girl with aspirations of becoming a lawyer someday, this feels like the realization of a dream that for too long had been deferred. Quite a moment for many. And after I spoke to Jones hours ago, he headed back to the West Wing of the White House where Jackson had watched that confirmation vote with President Biden. And Keith Stacey, he says he'll remain in that role. It's not a unique one, but he was selected for his unique qualifications. He says he'll keep that job at least for the next few days. Help guide the next round of whatever comes next. Right. Huh? Why was he selected for that? What's his connection? Well, he's been friends with President Biden for quite some time, in decades, in fact. But he also has quite a history of civil rights uh, work and prosecution, including the prosecution and conviction of the KKK members who bombed an African-American church in Birmingham, Alabama back in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. All right. I remember him from Alabama. I guess you do too Indeed. as well. Yeah. Yep. Senator, long history. Yeah. All right, thank you, Jack. Thank you.